In this video, I'm going to show you how my mum makes this amazing black soup. It's my favourite dish she ever makes. You'll need chicken, rice, veg, stock cube and herbs. I'll list the herbs below because I don't know what they are. You'll need a slow cooker. So I turned this on 30 minutes prior just to warm it up. Then once it was hot, I filled it with hot water from the kettle about halfway. That's all you really need. To make the soup, we use these herbs, but I'm going to soak the dates and put those in later because I do need to de-seed them. So in a small bowl of hot water, I'm just going to pop those in and put those to one side. I'm going to take the stock cube out first so we can bung all of those herbs in. Yes, every single one of them, even those little bits that don't want to go in. With the stock cube, I'm just going to cut that into smaller pieces just so it dissolves a lot better in the hot water. My mum recommends to use drumsticks and also thighs, so you can have one each. This has lasted Paul and I two nights, so it's kind of for our family. Pop the lid on and cook for between five to six hours. I did it for six, if not more actually. To prep the kale, we added water and microwaved that for five minutes to soften the leaves and look how green and amazing and delightful that looks. These are the other vegetables we're using. There are eight here. If you know how to chop vegetables, skip this bit. But if you don't, I'll let my mum show you how. For the sweet corn, she just cuts that in half and then half again. So nice, easy quarters for you there. For the carrot, she cut it in half and then cut it into smaller slices. This just adds some color to the vegetables. This is a sweetheart cabbage. I've never heard of this before, but she basically just cuts this into more manageable chunks. And yeah, look how quick she is. For the runner beans, she just cuts off the ends and once she's done that, just cuts them into even smaller sizes. Broccoli, you just cut off the stem and cut the rest down into quarters. Look how fast he is. Sprouts, so easy, just cut those in half. These are sugar snaps. Just rip off the ends and any kind of stringy bits because that's not so nice to eat. For the ginger, she just finely cut two to three slices, then finely chopped that down. You don't need the whole piece of ginger because that would just be so intense. For the cauliflower, again, just chopping everything down into more manageable pieces. And there you go. That is all the vegetables as cut by my mum. Those dates we left to soak earlier. By this time, the water has cooled down and they are ready to touch. So with a sharp knife, my mum is very carefully taking the seeds out. And we do this for two reasons. One, when you eat the soup, there's no surprise seeds in there. And two, she said the seeds, if left in, would take all the goodness out and you want the goodness in the soup. So that's what we want it to be. We can then add those into the soup and this will make the soup so, so sweet. Stir that in. Then 30 minutes before we're dishing up, because you know, time has passed and I'm fast forwarding. It's now time to do the rice. So I know how much rice I need to do. So I'm gonna boil that. Now on to stir frying your veg. So first you wanna cook the ginger. This will flavor the oil. Then we wanna put in all the hard vegetables first. So this is me showing you the vegetables because this is prettier than showing us cooking on the hob. But don't worry, there is shots of my mum cooking. Here we go, nice slow-mo shots. So just cooking, making sure the pan was really, really hot and the oil was really, really hot before you started actually cooking. Another stock cube. This is just a quarter of the stock cube. Also a little bit of sugar to taste and then mix that all in, add all that extra flavor. Next is the sugar snaps and also with a little bit of water. My mum said adding water is really good. This stops your veg from burning. So this is a really good tip because I never knew that and before my veg was definitely burning. Cook this for about a minute or so. Then it is time to add the kale. And that doesn't take long at all. And look at this lovely steaming hot yummy veg. Time to dish up. I usually put the soup in a separate bowl, then dish up the meat on the side and my veg. I usually then put the rice into the soup and my God, my God guys, this is so good. It might not be the most Instagrammable meal, but I wholeheartedly cannot recommend this enough. It's so, so yummy. It fills you with loads of energy. My mum calls it her tonic soup. It's meant to be good for your kidneys, your liver, your lungs, to give you so much energy and to fight tiredness. So I highly recommend it. Please let me know if you do try it. Thank you so much for watching.